بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحباب as a reminder to myself and you and may Allah protect us and protect you and preserve us and preserve you and may Allah love us and love you amin ya rabbil alamin ayo lahbab azuhd fi dunya asceticism meaning to be not involving and indulging yourself in the life of this world that doesn't mean you can't have nice clothes it doesn't mean that you can't have a nice car or a nice house but it does mean that you should not make those things your priority and the life of this world and indulgence in it should not be the owner of your heart but rather the owner of your heart should be the one who owns your heart which is Allah Azza wa Jal that you should put your trust in Allah Put your faith in Allah. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And protect yourself as much as possible from loving the life of this world. Meaning indulging in it to where you're obsessed with money, you're obsessed with wealth, you're obsessed with the finest uh, items and materialism in this life. Ayul Ahbab, let's listen to uh, the, the prophetic wisdom of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what he said regarding Zuhd and this dunya, the life of this world. In one hadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa alayhi Wasallam, he said, A dunya sijin al mu'min jinnatul kafir. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said in Sahih Muslim that this life is the Jannah or the paradise of the disbeliever and it is a prison of a believer and in another hadith the Prophet والسلام, said also in Sahih Muslim he said salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi inna dunya halawata khadira wa inna Allah subhanahu مُسْتَخْلِفُكُمْ فِيهِ فَلْيَنْذُرُ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ فَاتَّقُوا الدُّنْيَا وَاتَّقُوا النِّسَاءِ فِنَّا أَوَلَ فِتْنَ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ كَانَ فِي النِّسَاءِ The Prophet ﷺ said that verily this life is like a beautiful uh, gar uh, garden or beautiful vegetables or fruits And verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishes you in it. And He looks to see what you will do. So fear the dunya, meaning indulging excessively in the dunya, in the life of this dunya, in the traps of this dunya. And fear the women, meaning to be obsessive about the women, about uh, those, you know, the, the sinfulness that can come to you by being extreme and not being within the bounds of the Sharia through marriage. For verily the first trial that befell the children of Israel was the women. That they were tested also. Because that is our natural inclination. That is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established within us as men. A healthy man is inclined towards women and then a man can be sick if he becomes ex obsessive and excessive in that going beyond the bounds of the shirk looking at the haram chasing the haram indulging in the haram so ayol ahbab we must maintain a balance by not doesn't mean we have to wear one garment and we never wash it and we never wash ourselves no that's not zuhud that's not Islamic asceticism. But rather, Islamic asceticism is within the bound. Who is more, has more zuhud than the Prophet That's what you ask those people who don't clean themselves, 
they travel around, they have their hair messed up, they don't care, they don't take care of themselves, and they believe in not even marriage, in monasticism. This is not from Islam, but we have extreme Sufis and people who follow that, that methodology. And even some people who claim to be from Ahl Sunnah, who have similar traits, who believe that they are giving up the dunya. But in fact, that's not. That's not what the Prophet ﷺ ordered us to do. Because the Prophet ﷺ married. And what did he do? He didn't just marry, but he took care of his family. And he ordered us to take care of our family. From the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah ﷺ, from the order and commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that we provide for our family. So do not think that you can marry and you are being so pious and you're at all the lectures but you don't provide food on your table. Your children are hungry. Your children are uneducated. You're not providing anything for your family. Ayul Ahbab, that's not zuhud. And may Allah forgive us and you and guide us in you and rectify our condition in yours. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. But Ayul Ahbab has a zuhud. The zuhud is being balanced within the Sharia. Because none of us have reached the level and will reach the level of piety of the Messenger of Allah None of us will come near that. And none of us can claim that. And when you hear someone claiming this and claiming to be Muslim at the same time, know that this person is so deceived by the shaitan. And if they say they are like the Messenger of Allah or that they're better than the Messenger of Allah then they have just disbelieved or that they have guidance better than him or equal to him because none of that no one knew Allah more than the Messenger of Allah no one was closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from mankind than the Messenger of Allah the Prophets were the best of mankind and they were examples for us to follow and they had the balanced zuhud and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.